Let's revise scapular winging together. We have two types of scapular winging. The medial winging, which is also called as the classical winging, and the lateral winging. For medial winging, the tight muscles are first the upper trap and your rhomboids. Whereas for your lateral winging, your tight muscles are the serratus anterior and the second is lower trap. The weak muscle for medial winging, you just reverse it. So the weak muscle for the medial winging are the tight ones for the lateral winging. So the first is the serratus anterior and the second one is your lower traps. For the weak muscle of the lateral winging is the first one your upper trap and your second one is the rhomboids. The deviation, since your upper traps and rhomboids are tight, the deviation of your scapula would be up and in. Whereas for lateral winging, since your serratus anterior and lower traps are tight, your deviation would be down and out. The nerve involved. For this one, the nerve involved is your long thoracic nerve. Whereas for the lateral winging, the nerve involved is your spinal accessory nerve, which is also our cranial nerve number 11. This one, the medial winging is also called as your open book palsy. Whereas the lateral winging is also called as the sliding door palsy. Now the interventions for medial winging. Some of the interventions are rows, wall push-ups, upper trap stretches, and many more. For lateral winging, the main interventions are shoulder shrugs, prone tees, shoulder retractions, and many more.